welcome back to my channel so today I am going to show you all of my art supplies as I finally decided I would do this video <laughs> and that you know I didn't have to take too many things out which was good because I was really worried I was gonna have to take loads and loads of things out um, so I'm gonna show you a range of things that I have um, I will take some things out of the drawer which are next to me in the desk but luckily as I'm right next to it on the desk it'll be easier for me to take out um, so we'll get started. I'm going to start with these like little paints that I have here first. So I'm going to bring them out to you and then I'm going to take a couple from the shelf above me down so for you to see. Because um, I'm not going to show you every single one of my paints because the box was really big and heavy and I just thought no. <laughs> you don't need to see every single one anyway. But I have a range of acrylic paints that I use. So... Um, this one is by Doe Crafts Artists. It says it's all purpose acrylic paint for crafts and decoration. Um, and this is Pearl Mother of Pearl. Now I only have this colour and a light blue in this one. And this is from the range. And apparently they have 60 colours, 12 metallics, 5 pearls and 5 specialty mediums. So it is a... Oh, it's made in Dorset. Oh, I know it's not made in Dorset. Dorset is the... Um, <laughs> the address is actually made in China. Um, so I got this from the range, it's a store in the UK and it was a pound, which I thought was a great price for this paint, um, so it only cost a pound and it's um, like matte paint, although this obviously, is, as it's Mother and Pearl, obviously does have a glisten and shine, but the other one is matte so you could put pencil over it. This you probably can't because it's a per, you know, a pearlescent colour, but um, so I have this one. Then I have from Hobbycraft, they do the Peebo or PBO range of acrylic paint and again this is the craft paint and it's matte it says matte on it in various different languages but it's matte paint and they do a range of different colors this one is plum but um oh I forgot plastic bit coming off it but um I have quite a few different colors so for example there's this one which is water green and then I, they do do a pearlescent type as well, and a, I think they do a metallic type, but it's more like this pearlescent one here, so this is Palmer. I do find with the Peebo paints that you have to maybe like do two layers on them, whereas I found this one and the other colour, I could just do one layer and it was fine. But these ones I would say are not as good, but they're not bad either, and they do come in some nice colours, So and these are about £2, so they're not expensive paints. Um, and then... I also have a couple of a deco art by Americana. Um, again, this is matte acrylic paint. This is the lamp ebony black, which I highly recommend getting this one at least, just because out of all the black acrylics, I think this one's the best one. Like it lays down nicely. You don't have to do several layers, and you don't see all the like patches and stuff. And I really like this one. Um, it's a bit hard to get this paint in the UK. You can get it on eBay. You can get it on some craft websites, Amazon. Um, it can't. It's not as ready available. Unfortunately, um, with I've got a couple other colours of deco art, but the paint's like separated, so it's now like liquidy and watery. Um, I haven't had that with the blacks yet, but I am a bit annoyed that that's happened. Um, obviously I do shake them every now and then, but it might just be I haven't used them enough, and that's the reason why that's happened. So I do find that slightly annoying. That's happened because it hasn't happened to the pee boat once. It's just happened to the Americana ones, which is really annoying. Maybe in time it'll happen to these ones, who knows. Um, so, yes, I do really like the Americana. I do prefer this paint. I just wish it didn't separate so much. That's the only downside. And I have tried to use, like, a cocktail stick to, like, mix it back together and stuff. But I think once it's separated, that's it. Um, so it's still usable. It's just more watered-down acrylic. Um, so the other sort I have is, again, by Peebo, um, or PBO, and again from Hobbycraft. Now, these normally about three pounds I think three or four pounds and you get more in here um, they do various different colors um, I really liked the iridescent and the metallic one so I mostly have these and I got these when they were on offer for like two pounds so I thought that was a pretty good deal um, so it's um, basically I don't know if you can see but this is an iridescent blue so it looks really really pretty and actually these come out quite well I do really like these paint so I've got a metallic one here so that see it's got DYNA I'm not sure what that stands for by the way a couple of them have got it on there I think the iridescent ones and then the metallic ones have got metallic on it um so this is more of a metallic gold and then I've just got like a white I do have a grey a blue and I think a yellow ochre just in this in this um because this 
is and I don't think this dries like matte finish like the this Peebo paint does but I just thought if I wanted to use some and I didn't want to say put colour pencils or something over it then you know and I just thought I would give it a go so it does it is more glossy um but I thought the white would probably be a good one to have and it does have opaque on it if it is um that one and they've got different star ratings which I think means how opaque they are so this one's got two this is a Prussian blue and it's got like two on it so I'm assuming maybe perhaps I don't know maybe <laughs> maybe this to do with the op op opacity I'm not 100% sure but um yes so basically that is the acrylic paint I have and I will pop it back up on my shelf now um so that it's out the way and I'll put these um to the side because I will put them back in their box <laughs> afterwards because they were quite heavy um so i did i do also this is just like a tool i haven't used it yet it's like a stick with a sponge on the end and i thought i would use this for if i wanted to do clouds or i don't know maybe i have a stencil or something and i just want to use paint mostly to use acrylic paint with rather than um pastels but i could use pastels with this as well and it's just like you know so i can just I don't know, just to be various things. You probably, I guess, if you had ink pads as well, you could probably use this on an ink pad. I don't know. I just saw them and thought they would they'd be useful. So again, these are from Hobbycraft, and I think they were like like two or three pounds, or I've got like something on my finger. Um so yeah, they weren't too expensive. Um so oh another thing about my collection. This is just to show you some things that I have and that you potentially could get. This isn't just to be like, hey, this is all my stuff <laughs> or anything like that. Um, it's just, you know, you might not know about some things and you might think, hey, I would like that. Or, I don't know, you might think you haven't tried something and you have got it before. I don't know. Various things. So we'll go to my little paint, my little paint set. So I'll get them all out. So I have quite got, quite got a range of watercolour paints. Um, I have all the Jane Davenports. I'm annoyed that they're a bit dusty. I actually dusted my room the other week and it seems to have literally been covered in dust again and I feel like I need to dust again. <laughs> so they've all kind of got dust on so hopefully that doesn't appear on the camera. So I have these Jane Davenport tins. Um, they come I think with 12 paints inside. I think it's 12. And they have this handy little like ring here so you could put your your thumb in it and use it like an, a, pa a palette so the idea is that you can hold it with it open and then you can like paint which I think is quite cool um, and you open it up so you've got a little tin bit here that you can use to obviously mix stuff there's a little card I decided to, I really liked the stickers so I decided to stick the stickers on here but um, it's also quite like shiny card so to be honest I wouldn't really test I wouldn't want to test my paint on this anyway I don't think it's the best card to use so you've just got a little thing about Jean Davenport here. Then you have the paints, which have kind of fallen out. So I'm going to pop them back in. Ugh, come on. There we go. So there's, yeah, there's 12 of them. 12 paints that fit in there. You can take this little, um, probably better to do it. You can take this out. Ugh. So you can have another mixing tin bit in there. And then you've got a bit here, and this is the bright set, so I quite like it. I think they have quite a lot of nice colours in the bright set. Um, then I have got the natural set here, which comes in the gold tin. So it's the same setup as the other one. Um, it just has more natural shades of colours in it, and I really like this one actually, especially if you want to use like skin and stone and things like that. It's quite good. I don't know what I would use vitamin C for yet, but um, something. I really love how that paint here as well really looks like blood as well. <laughs> It's not, it's paint. So again, those are the colours in there. I really like the Jane Davenport um, sets. They come out really, really nice as well. And then this is the mermaid one. So it's got more mermaid sort of colours and the names, for example, Water Spirit, Nereid, Ariel, Tresses, Enchantress, Sea Nymph. They're all kind of, you know, like mermaid type names. Um, and again, you get actually two metallic ones like this alchemy which is nice my flirtatious unfortunately is not good other people's are fine mine is very hard there's no pigment it's just, i just can't get color out of it um i might try and put some water and leave it on there but if you look at it, it compared to the others it doesn't look like you're going to get much pigment out of it so that's the downside to the set other um to be fair i probably wouldn't really use flirtatious much anyway so it doesn't really matter too much and i've got like cat hair in in there how lovely um so Yes, I really like the Jane Danport sets. Now, Prima are another 
company that make the similar sets they do lots and lots and lots of different colors and they do them in the same tin so it must be the same company that makes the tin i reckon because it's pretty much the same now this is a much better card in which you can do your um you know swatches on so i have this is a pastel set because i felt like i didn't have pastel watercolors so i just thought i would um i do find these are a bit more chalky and i don't like them so much compared to my other paints so i would say these are my least favorite ones but um they do have nice colors though and i will use them like some of them come out better than others like the citrus i thought the brown and the chocolate and the crimson work really well and even the bumblebee but the rest like the blues and um lemonade they just come out a bit grainy and a bit chalky so i don't like those ones as much but and then I also got the shimmery, shimmering lights one as well. So this is kind of like, they're not metallic as such, but they're kind of glittery. Um, as you can see, some of them are really nice, like the gold, allure, treasure, somewhat, glaze. Um, Goldstone and champagne came out really nice, but twinkle, antique, or chandelier came out nice as well. Twinkle, Antique, Disco, Sham, oh, and Flare look very grainy and there doesn't look like there's much pigment there. So I'm a bit sad about those ones, but the rest look kind of quite good. And I have used them a few times. Um, I see that Disco looks exactly like that one from the Jane Davenport. It just, you can tell from the look of it that it's not going to be creamy. Like looking at this one and this one, they look like they're creamy, right? The others don't look that like that. So, um... <laughs> But it's this sort of nice colours and um, I like, I do like these. I, again, I don't really use them very often, but I do like them. So I'm going to just pop these back on my shelf because I can actually do that. And then I'm somehow going to have to dust my shelf as well because it's very dusty. So I might do that at some point. Um, so moving on to some more watercolours, which again, these are a bit dusty. Um, so this actually is an empty tin that I bought, a Schmincke empty tin, so I didn't buy it with paints. Um, the paints that are inside here are bought separately. So I really like these paints. You know, these are premium ones, they are very expensive, but they are amazing. So I've only bought a couple of individual ones because they are quite expensive and I can't personally afford to buy a set of these. Um, and they only seem to do like a big set of like 36. I have not seen any sets bigger than that or maybe like 48. There are loads of colours, yet they don't do like a whole set of them all, but maybe it's because that would be like insane to try and carry that many paints. You'd need a huge... A huge tin so um i just got this one and it comes obviously with a little bit here that you can put watercolor in it does come with you can i haven't done it yet but you can put your own colors that you've bought create your own color chart as it says in english and in german um i haven't done that yet because i the way i've got my paints organized in here um i might not like putting swatch them in that order because i kind of like to do mine in the colors of the rainbow if you get me so all the blues together all the greens so these are the colors i have as you can see they're very shiny and they're very different to the other paints that i've had um and you can take this out as well so my idea is that one day far far in the future when i have bought loads of individual ones to fill this tin up um, I will then fill in the card. I don't intend to necessarily get the entire set of Schmincke watercolours at all. I just figured what I would do was I'd get colours I didn't have with the sets I've already got. And that way then I can, you know, use all the ones I've got and I'm not, you know, not going to stop using something because I've got something different. So I just, you know, I like to try and build stuff up around what I have already. So um, I haven't bought any new ones for ages, but one day <laughs> I'll buy another one because they are, they are about like five pounds plus depending on the pigment and the color now the other set i have got is windsor newton the cotman water color set so i think this is the 48 i think i'm not i can't remember it's the biggest set that you can get and this is not too expensive actually so this is also, the paints aren't amazing but they're pretty good um for for the use of that you'd use them in coloring books and if you maybe were a beginner watercolourer, I would say these are quite good to have. You get a range of colours, you get two colours of sun, so like I think you get two ultramarines, two yellow ochres and two whites and two blacks because you use them quite a lot apparently. I haven't used them loads but supposedly I'm thinking that's why and you have got this that you can use. The sad thing is this is plastic and I do prefer the metal tins. I feel like the metal tins are much better because one they're better for the environment 
and two it's easier to mix your paint on but this is okay I do find this annoying because it comes off and sometimes I'm painting and I feel like I don't have enough, enough space and it like flaps off and I'm like no you have got space for paint brushes that well there which is quite cool so I do use these fairly often when I want to do like a watercolour um, set and I just realised that the reason why that is over there is because I have then space to put this up ha -ha. so I'm going to put those up here now and I've just got my, I've got cat food up here, as you see, cat food for my cat, because um, she wakes me up at like 5, 6 in the morning wanting food, and I can't bother to go all the way downstairs to get her food, so if it's up here already, then I can just like give it to her. So the next, um, last lot of watercolours I have um, is these, well, I, get, I do have some more, but they're like metallic ones, so you'll see in a minute. Um, but the and actually these are metallics as well actually <laughs> so these are my Paul Rubens um, they are watercolours but they are iridescent I guess iridescent sparkly metallic they're not really metallic there's a couple metallic -y ones but they're more like pearlescent iridescent type ones so it comes in this beautiful pink tin case and I know lots of people have seen it again a similar design in fact the Schmincke one I forgot to say also has that little clip on it as well it's also just like the design of these um things so again you can hold it and paint Ooh. um so you open it up and again it's got those things that you can mix and again you can take this out and it has all these beautiful metallic paints in this is quite expensive but you do get quite a lot of paints i do think for the money and this is 50 pounds um but they are beautiful paints they give you beautiful results and if you love glitter and sparkly and shiny things like me, you will want this in your collection. So I would say, although it's expensive, it's well worth investing. I do think AliExpress do it a bit cheaper, but you have to wait quite a long time for it to come in the post. So if you, that's a cheaper way to do it and you want it, I would do that. And it comes with this nice little cloth as well, which I'm not sure what you're supposed to use it for, but I like to wrap it up in there. So there's that, I'll pop that back. Um, I do have a paint palette that I use for the acrylic paint. I use it for my pastels as well and not really the watercolour I tend to use the the tins for the watercolour because again this is plastic it was really cheap I think it was like a pound I think I got it from the works I can't really remember I'm I am thinking that I might see about getting a porcelain one at some point just because I think they're better but if I'm just but for using acrylic paint this is definitely the best thing to use and again for the pastels um soft pastels if I'm rather getting dust of them off or whatever it's better to have it on this because this is cheap and it doesn't matter if it gets stained or ruined and let's face it you, it's just better to use this so I do so that is that um so um I'm trying to do things in order so what I will do is I will get my other paints out just so we've got all the paints in the same segment oh no hold on I've had some fall out of the their little case I've got to put them back in. <laughs> there we go. We're good now. We're good. So, is that all of them? Or, hmm. Oh, no, that's fine. Right, so in my drawer, I have a range of paints. And I've got them all in. Way. So, first of all, um, actually, if I put that on that side, because that's the same brand as that. I have got the Kurataki Starry Colours. So, um, originally... I love the fine tech which are these ones over here they're quite expensive and I think I was a student at the time I didn't have lots of money because you know I'm a student you don't earn any money when you're a student and I wanted some really nice gold paint and I thought oh it's a shame I think also it was really hard to get the fine techs like on Amazon like you couldn't really get them and they were quite expensive I mean they're still expensive now I think they're the same price but um so I got these fine tech golds um and they were only I think maybe like 10 pounds maybe a little bit less maybe a tiny bit more I can't remember but basically these are quite inexpensive and they are really really good the Gansai Tambi um they're by Kurataki um I would say they're pretty much on a I don't know the fine text I would say are just very slightly better but I personally think these are actually really good so um I have these and this is just the gold range um and I really like them and I think you can get some individual little like tray things like these you can take them out and it does tell you like underneath what it is I think you can get some of these separately but I think they're quite hard to get a hold of so um the words the fine tech are a lot easier to replace singularly 
so um, I have that set. And then I saw like some months later that they did a pearl set. Now I quite like these pearl sets because they're quite opaque. So if I wanted to fill a background and I wanted it to be opaque, these I would use because they're really good for that. Um, and again, they're just pearlescent -y type colours. They're quite nice, although this white gold I'm pretty sure is the same. Is it the same as this one? Hold on. <laughs> or is this a different champagne? Oh no, so there we go. I have the same colour twice. I didn't even know that until now. <laughs> so I've basically got white gold. Um, I know they do a darker, like, jeweled sort of colour. So you can get, like, a dark red, dark blue set as well. I don't have those because I just didn't feel like I needed it with all the other ones I had. So, um, yeah, I don't really use these ones very often anymore. Um, just because I had the others. But, I mean... I would still use the gold from time to time because I like the gold. But yeah, these ones I think, again, you get to use them occasionally, just not very often. I should try and use them a bit more though, actually. Um, and then they did start to sell some sets of these on Amazon. And then I did have some money. <laughs> um, so then I thought, oh, I'll buy these. Um, so this was one of the sets that they had because they didn't have very many on there. And this was um, the Fine Tech, um, just like a mix of. 12 yeah 12 I had to quickly count in my head um, of 12 sets and these are only half pounds so you can't take these out they're like glued in um, and they've got mostly the sort of pearlescent ones so if you um, tilt it it goes like it's, it's like um, pearl gold pearl pink pearl purple pearl blue pearl green and then that's obviously just the normal and then I've got some metallic so there's a blue was it it's on the back of the pack um, you've got sil blue silver blue green bronze and red brown and red violet so oh and red so those will be these ones here so um i did think this was quite a nice set you can get this in a bigger version but at the time i could only buy this in a smaller version and i think it was about 30 pounds so it was quite expensive um i think it's no it's probably it might be a bit cheaper I feel like the big set of this is now £30, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Do not quote me. <laughs> um, it's been a while since I bought some stuff on there. Um, so, there's that one. And I had that for a while, and I liked it. And then, I think, because Sammy and maybe some other people were like, oh, yes, you can go on the actual fine tech website and buy stuff. And I was like, really? Because I didn't know. It's um, it's called Colorio, though. Color, Colorio. It's... It was if I could type it into Google, but it did take me some time to find the actual website. Um, but you can get more of these sets on Amazon now, which is good. However, it'll be their made-up sets they've got already. I think Jackson's Art Supply, which is a UK website, you can buy these sets and you can buy these individually as well. So that's also a good thing too. And I think I'm going to do that in the future because it's a little bit cheaper. And then if I buy enough, free shipping. So these I got from the website. So this. All the sets you're going to see here, I've made them up. So I bought all the paints individually, then I bought the little container and I put them all in and then they come in a little plastic bag with a sticker which you can cut off to then stick. So as you can see, I do use the golds quite a lot. I use the Tibet gold an awful lot because it's you can even see the hole in the middle now. So um, I really like these. These are beautiful. They look lovely. And I'll, sh I'll get my swatch book out in a minute and you can see... Um, all of them on there um, so I got I have almost all of the colours now I think there's a couple I don't have I'm sorry I'm just picking hairs out that I've gotten into there so I'm um, I have tried to like sort of put them in a case where they kind of fit together I do wish I got the tin because it's a little it was a little bit more money but I I mean the tin unfortunately I wouldn't get to see the beautiful colours though but again I just I think environmentally better to have the tin and also it would be better for mixing and stuff um this was another set i got so this was a bigger set of 12 so basically there's a mini one there's a bigger one <laughs> but this is one again i made up myself so i got um the stardust one which you basically can use on its own or you can add it to other colors to make it more sparkly that's the idea of it and i was like okay because at first i wasn't really gonna bother with it um and then i've got like some purples and pinks some greens and some blues so a good range there and they're really beautiful and I haven't used these as much but I do like them and then I got another one of the golds I think I have all the golds now I think unless they've got a new one 
Um, and I think I've got all the silvers. Again, there could be that there's a new one that I don't know. Um, and then these were some newer colours, so you're like Unicorn Mermaid and Fiji. And they're kind of like iridescent, well, like the mermaid one looks purple and, and pink, I think. And then Unicorn's kind of got a hint of, I don't know, something else in it. Um, so this is why this one's a little bit mismatched, because it's got like the ones I didn't have. And there's, I think, maybe like five or something one, different ones I don't have, because I do count the little ones as colours. I know that they're not the big ones, but like I will count them. So one day if these will get all used up, then I will, you know, just buy another one. But I like the fact that you can buy them singularly. I think they're about like three euros something singularly, or three pounds. Um, so if you do them what I did and you just buy a set, and then this was like a euro... So again, almost a pound. I mean, it's not a pound of euro yet, but it's almost that way. <laughs> so these are really nice paints and I really like them. So they're good. I'm just going to get my gouache out ready so I can put these back in the drawer. <laughs> so I'm going to put these back in my little drawer that I've got. Let's put them in the way that I want them to be. I try and squidge everything in. I might just put those there because I'm not sure where I need to put that. So next I have my gouache. So first of all we'll look at my tinned set. Um, so this is a Caran d'Ache gouache and it did come with this lovely paintbrush which I don't keep in the tin because I tend to use it for my watercolour. Love this brush. It's amazing. No idea if you can buy it separately. Not a clue. Um, so it comes with 15 different colours. If I can open it, oh my days, please open. So you've got like a tin here which you can use for mixing, which I do quite often. I've got space for the paintbrush. You get a white in a tube because quite often you use white for like mixing and stuff. And I haven't put the lid on properly. I'll change that in a minute. And then you get these little like cake little things which you can take out. Um, and this I quite like because it's easier to like, I don't have to squeeze too much of the paint out, if you get me. Because I think the tubes I end up squeezing either not enough or too much and I do prefer it this way but um obviously I can only have so many paints I'm just going to put the lid of this squash back on properly come on don't be wonky go on straight no <laughs> it won't go on straight it's really annoying me oh damn the, unfortunately I think this won't go on straight anymore I think it's only going to be wonky Okay, it's sort of dried around the top, which I don't really want it to do, but it's, I can still get the liquid out. Oh my, why won't this go on properly? Maybe I have too much, like, paint or something on the inside of the lid and it's, like, affecting it. Because it doesn't want to go, it doesn't sit right, it just looks wonky. Okay, I'm going to have to leave it as it is. Right, so, um, yeah, I really like this set, it's really good. Um, I thought the paints didn't look too bad. Um, and then you, I mean, all the stuff I'm showing you have seen before on my channel. Um, I have got some the Arteza set of gouache. Uh, I think there was 24 colours. Um, they're quite nice. Some of them are nicer than others. Um, it's got like this little square on it, and that will tell you how opaque it is. And I think the, the pluses could be like maybe the light fastness, maybe. Purple's normally a colour that isn't like so light fast. I'm just trying. Well, I've got this rose one, as you can see, it's got like half opaque, half not opaque. It still seems like it's light fast though, but I don't know if I have any others. No. And then the other paints, or what about this pink one? Oh, so you go, you've got two, and then it's like obviously quite opaque, um, not opaque, translucent. So then I have got this lovely Winsor Newton designer gouache, and I buy these separately just to basically build up my collection so the whole point is, is that I would use all these two together I have them swatched in my book so I can and I can take it with me so I can see what colours I already have and then I can try and not get colours so similarly together unless of course I think that they don't come out very well and I think oh actually it comes out better in this squash I'll get this one um the art store that I get these from is the local one where I live um they obviously, if I, they do sometimes sell these in Hovercraft and they tend to be like a pound or a few pence cheaper than the art shop I have. But the art shop I have has so many colours, like all the colours. And to be honest, the prices aren't that bad. And I could get them a little bit cheaper online. 
but I like that I just I just feel like it's nice to help this local art store out because I feel so lucky to have it and most of the stuff in there is more or less the same price as online or it's a little bit as in I'm talking about if I was to get you know my pencils singularly they are a bit more expensive to get them singularly there but the point is I can get them there and then and I can test them out I don't just have to blindly buy them unless I already know what they're like they haven't got Prismacolor though sadly that's the only problem but nowhere in the UK has Prismacolor in their stores unless um maybe London I might have some somewhere but as far as I know you have to buy those online <laughs> Um, but yes, I really like the squash and um, the Windsor Newton one is pretty good. Again, it's got like the opaqueness on it. So there, it's like half opaque, half not. And this one's obviously quite opaque. So that's good. Um, there was one colour that I didn't want because apparently you had to dispose of it in a special way because if it leaks into the water, it can kill wildlife and fish. And I was like, I don't want this paint. So I kind of just didn't. Yeah, I swapped it for a different one. But all the others seem fine. So I'm going to put that back in my drawer. Uh, oh, no, that didn't sound like the best noise. It's fine. Okay, oh, I can put these down here. Sorry, guys, I'm just trying to rearrange my drawer again. Come on, in you go. Um, so whilst i got this drawer open, I'm just going to quickly show you some alcohol markers I have. So I have these Spectrum Noir Basic markers. As you can see, I got them for £20. Um, they are normally a little bit more than that on Amazon, but they I got them in TK Maxx or TJ Maxx, as it is in America, but it's TK Maxx here. Don't know why. Different names. It could be the same. Who knows? Um, and they are dual tip markers, so you got um, the ch the chisel tip and then the, the thinner tip there, and these are all the colours that you get. I'm really sorry I can't be able to take them out the box because there has to get in and out of the box. Um, <laughs> and to be fair, it's, there's nothing special about it, but I like these ones. These are quite good. Um, I feel like they're better than the other markers I have um, but I don't really want I mean I have some Copics but I'm not really fussed about getting expensive ones because I don't I only use them to base stuff so um, so these are the other ones I have so um, in my local craft store Hobbycraft they I initially I saw all these colours but I initially got this skin coloured set now these were like £10 by Docrass um, again, I have shown these before on on the channel. Um, and then I went in there the other day and then they had some of the other sets for also for £10. I thought, well, I'm going to get them. So I've got some pinks here, some greens and some browns. Um, I do th I'm do. i not sure they might do a blue. I think they had loads of greys, but I didn't want grey. So I knew I wouldn't use grey much, so I didn't bother. Um, and I wanted... I don't know if they have blues, but they didn't, but it doesn't matter because, and here I have mostly got blue Copics and I have got some skin colour Copics as well because back when I was about 18, I kind of really got into anime and I really wanted to do anime, um, like do the drawing and stuff. And I saw like on DeviantArt, lots of people using Copic markers for colouring. Um, yes, these were still quite expensive. I think I did buy the skin colour set because I did have the little pens outline pens um they ran out so i don't have them now um but yeah these are like over 10 years old and they still work because i didn't really use them loads anyway so i'm quite happy about that i may occasionally i haven't yet but maybe in the future i may buy the odd copic but if i'm honest i'm quite happy to just go with the more cheaper affordable brands because again i'm not like i'm not doing proper like marker work with these so i don't see the point in me spending loads of money as much as the Copics are amazing and beautiful, um, you know, I mean, if I had loads of money, sure, I'd probably buy them. But as I don't, I'm quite happy with the cheaper ones for what I use. I don't feel like I need to have these. So um, I'll use the ones I've got because I might as well. <laughs> I have them. I've got a couple of greys in there as well. And then I have some Posca paint pens, which I have not really used. Because I think, uh, who's it? Uh, Katrine, always colouring. She used these quite a lot in her backgrounds, and I thought, oh yeah, I could use these. So I bought them, and then I used this blue, and it didn't come out the best. It came out bumpy, and I just realised, actually, after watching Dee Dee not too long after, I just using acrylic matte paint would be better. So um, I might use these to like outline stuff, or maybe for small areas. I have like a gold one, which I have occasionally used. Um, most of these are the big, chunky ones. Like These two purple ones are thinner. I think this white one's thinner. But yeah, these ones are quite thick nibs. 
um, because I the idea was I would do a big background, so I haven't really used them. Oh, I've got a green one as well. Haven't really like used them to be fair, but um, one day I might do. And also, this is a box I brought from Tiger to house them all in so that they weren't loose. Um, and I am debating about whether to just take these out of the out of the little packets and put them in there because it would be easier to get them out. It's a bit annoying trying to get them out of the case, but for now, I'm leaving them there. I might do that, actually, because it would be easy to get them in and out of the case. Um, and then the other markers I have, which I'm sad because... Oh, I've just found a... Let's find another Posca pen that needs to go in here. Um, these are the Touch 5s. They are very inexpensive, but they have dried out, and a lot of them are dried out, and I've barely used them. So I am trying to store them this way, hoping that that will help for them to not dry out <laughs> so I'm a little bit annoyed um, but the, yeah these are okay they, they were just literally base stuff I wasn't again doing any blending or anything but yeah I'm a little bit annoyed about that but um, I'm gonna keep the case so regardless what I might do is when they these eventually all dry out or possibly when a couple of them dry out I might put the other ones in there and then I can have like a case to keep them in um, so I'm gonna put that back in oh <gasps> no way so I want to show you these. These are some makeup sponges I bought to, again, do you like clouds and things and other things. And I couldn't find these and I thought, where are they? I wanted to use them the other like week or so. And I realised I had put them, shoved them in the side of my drawer. So I could have used them. I was thinking, where have I put these? I'm sure I have them somewhere. So I'm really glad I did this video because I found them. <laughs> And it's like, I probably have opened that drawer and seen them there, just not... You know when you see things and you don't really take notice? I kind of feel that's what I've done. Um, oh no. Oh no. I've had a Copic market fall out as well. Um, maybe, can I put these this way? And then I can put this in that way. I kind of, sorry, I'm trying to like rearrange my drawer so I can fit. No. How did I have it before then? Do I just not have this in properly? Or maybe it was this way. Um, no, because that's not going to fit. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I will work it out afterwards because I haven't got time. And you don't want to hear me trying to shove a box in a drawer. Um, so I will quickly, as I've got them here, show you some ink that I have. So um, I have got some Winder Newton ink. Now, I've got this gold. This is original gold. Oh my way days look how separated that is now uh, I need to give that a good shake you can see here look at all the gold pigment the whole thing was but oh no I think it's all dried <laughs> oh dear to be fair I don't really use it anyway but maybe I forgive give it a good shake oh um I do I had to say I was like occasionally shaking these but I haven't done it in months and that's probably why so it might be that this will dry at the bottom and I can no longer use it but oh well um I was gonna say I don't really use the inks anyway I'm just like giving it a shake to see if we can get it oh it looks a bit better but basically if I want to get good pigment I'll have to go down to the bottom um so I got this little set of ink here now this I don't think will separate because it's proper ink and not gold um, you should still probably give it a shake though. Um, so, um, yeah, I have this. Different colours. got blue, yellow. This pink is very pink though. Um, and I just got them because when I got the tracing book, Around the World book, I thought that I would want to maybe outline them in ink with a toothpick. Um, so this is very, very pink. And look, it, when it comes out, it's actually really, really pink. Um instead of red um but i just found actually no i didn't need to use them so um i'm thinking because actually i did some pictures for the is it inktober i did do some inktober drawings um a few years ago and i used these for them and i actually quite liked using them. the only problem is, is that they do dry once they're dry that's it you can't you know you can't re wet them like watercolour, but I did like them actually, so I'm thinking that in the future, or maybe I guess for a background or something, I could use them for a background. So I am going to keep them and I will use them for something one day. It just might be many days in the future, or who knows, maybe I'll come up with a new hobby that I like and I will 
and use them for that. Um, but that is something that I bought, which sadly I don't really use very often, but I have them. Um, and then I'm going to show you... Oh, let's put that away. So I have a box which has got some stuff for my photo album that I'm doing, like my photos for my holiday and washi tape. So I have got some Faber-Castell gelatos. I have got a range of colours. I have got metallic ones. Oh, that's a metallic one, is it? No, that's not a metallic one. This is a metallic one. Yes, metallic icing. So I've got some metallic ones, and then they're mostly kind of pastel-y colours rather than bright colours. Um, you can get bright ones, I just don't have them. And they basically look like a lipstick or a chapstick, more a chapstick. Like, you can almost put that on your lips. I wouldn't. And they're water-soluble, um, I don't know, like, crayons type things? They're really nice, I really like them. I actually quite like them without the water, but um, unless I, you know, if it's a double-sided page, then obviously they'd transfer on the other one. So if they're a single-sided page, I'd be fine. Um, and then, yeah, I do have some nice washi tape here, as you can see. Um, not that I use in them colouring books, but um, this is like some city landscapes. I think London, by the looks of it. London, because there's a gherkin. Although that's not London, that's a Sagrida Familia. Maybe this one's like a, um, oh yeah, it's a... But was it the Berlin Gate? Whatever it is, I've not seen it. I think this one's just got a range of like, um, uh, like cities on it. That does that. I think that's the gherkin, though. Why they've chosen the gherkin, I don't know. Like it is, I guess, like an iconic building in Britain. But it's like there's more iconic ones. <laughs> and then like I've got some floral ones. I got once travel ones. This is obviously for my photo album. So I got lots of traveling. So I know that. There we go. I've got one with Paris on it. Paris, uh, could be the Capitol building, could be St. Paul's, Notre Dame, oh, which caught on fire, that's okay though, I mean, I'm glad, I saw it before it burnt <laughs> to down anyway, so I'm lucky, I have seen it, um, but to be fair, I think they saved most of it anyway, so I'm sure it'll be new and improved when they rebuild it, so it'll be fine, um, so there's that. Um, I will show you, I've got a little box that I use from Tiger, just put my shavings in, this is just a normal tissue from a toilet roll that I use to dust off by sharpener, so I have an MMR sharpener, this is my favourite sharpener, um, I especially love it for Prismas because it does not break them, um, I can change the blades as well, which is good. Uh, this is still the original blade, but I do feel like maybe I might want to think about changing it. Or what I could do is swap it with this one for the bigger hole, because I never really use the big hole very often. I tend to use the small one, so that's what I might do. I have got a spare blade, um, I just haven't needed to use it, but I'm glad, because again, my little local art store sold these in there, and the blades, so I don't have to get it on Amazon, which is great. Um, I will show you my gel pens and things now. So I have got these Colour Technic set of 50 glitter gel pens. Um, so you can unvelcro it so it's all one set thing like that. Um, they have come with a range of different colours, they're really glittery and they um, flow really nicely as well. Um, I really like them. They've got some kind of neon ones and they've got like different type ones there's no names and stuff on them um I'm um, they color technique do color technic they do do like normal sort of colors like pastel ones and things but I got the glitter ones because I just thought I used the glitter ones anyway so what was the point of me spending money on ones that I'm not really going to use so there we go I need to get some more though because I'm starting to run out <laughs> of some of the colors um then I have in my let's move this over here in my lovely um cut in the tailspin cup, I have got some uh, gel pens. I have got some uh, Smiggle ones. This is a Smiggle one, which is a kids' stationery store. Um, they have them all over around the world, I think. Oh, I mean, I know they have them in Australia, and they have them here. So I'm guessing they're around the world. Um, so loads of kids love the stationery and the pencil cases and things there. I personally think their pencil cases are ginormous for a child's pencil case. <laughs> but hey, the kids like them, and that's. I guess all that matters, but they're expensive. 
Um, but they did a nice little gel pen. It came in like a little container, which I still have, but I took them out and put them here because I thought I might use them. So they came with normal ones, they came with neon ones, pastel ones, and metallic and sparkly ones, which I kind of have organised my gel pens. So these are like the, the normal ones. There is one glitter one in there because it would not fit in the glitter pot, but actually no, it will fit in the glitter pot, so why it's in here I don't know. And then I have some Sakura jelly rolls. I have the souffle ones, which kind of are slightly 3D. But they are pastely colours, so that's why I got them. I have normal ones. Um, and I have, I think, is that it? Just normal ones? Oh, and then Moon. I'm thinking Moon something. I used these the other day in my video and I couldn't remember what they are, but I feel like they're called something Moon. And they're kind of like neon ones, but they're really nice. I like them. Again, I don't really use them very often, but I like them. So that's my Chelston mug. In my Hercules mug, my other one, the Hades and Pain and Panic one, I have got all the glitter metallic ones. So I have got a Wink of Stella brush, which I use every now and then. I love it. It's great. Just a clear one. I don't bother with the other ones because I don't see the point. I've got some metallic jelly rolls. Again, I don't really use metallics very often. Um, glitter just kind of, it sways me because it's so sparkly. These are the Stardust ones. I've got all of the colours that you can possibly get, and then I've got some Miggle ones in here. I think this could be, uh, no, is that metallic? Not sure. No, I don't think it is. Um, so yes, I have also got the white ones as well, which I don't really use anymore because I really like the white Signo. But they are quite good, these ones, but they are slightly thinner nibs, so I tend to find the flow on the white ones on these ones wasn't as great. But I really, oh, and I've got a glaze one as well. Um, I really, really liked um, the Jelly Roll sakura ones but i'm i felt like you don't have a lot of colors that's just why i got the color technic ones because i just wanted more colors so um i do use them all and as you can see the golds <laughs> i think this gold's almost gone actually um i will need to get some new ones at some point all right and then in this pot in my gandalf mug when i when the two towels came out in 2000 was it two 2002 when the dvd was coming out which probably was 2003, um, you could get it in Dobby H. Smith's with this mug, I think was like a pound or something, and my mother got it for me with this mug, or I bought it and then she got the mug separately. No, I think she got the mug, se mug separately for me, because now I think about it, I think I got the film from Asda. <laughs> Anywho, we're digressing. Um, so I kept my Gandalf mug because I love Gandalf. He's like my fave. And it's got the ring on the back, you know. Um, then I have my Crayola Super Tips here. So I only have the 50 set. Yeah, the 50 set. Do I? I feel like there's less than 50 in here. No, I think I have the 50 set. Um, so there's some in here. And there's some in my Seattle mug from when I went to Seattle. <laughs> um, I have got the other colours that wouldn't fit in there in here. I have got these metallic pens that I bought, which I used for the Johanna Bastard's Christmas book because I didn't have any metallic gel pens and all that at the time, so I bought these. Um, and then I've got a couple. Now I wish Crayola, bring these back out again. Crayola Blendables. Oh, this is Crayola Pro. Pro. Maybe I should try typing that in. Cray I've tried Googling these to see if I could find pictures of them. No. Now there were, I think, maybe 12 or 24 set these are the ones i have remaining from the set i owned as a as i don't know maybe a 13 year old child can't remember clearly i did not use golden brown very often um they are better than your average crayola they do blend a bit more they're not amazing pencils let's face it but i liked them um i have not used them though <laughs> i just found them i thought oh i maybe will use these and i haven't so i put them in there and then i've got a spare Oh gosh, that's dusty. Prismacolor, um, color blender, because I don't really use the one I have, but it came in a pack of two, so it's just there because it needed to go somewhere. So I'll put those back. I kind of want Gandalf facing me, so let's have Gandalf. Um, this is a lovely pencil pot holder that we got when we went to Paris. In fact, the year I went, I was 13, and we climbed up the Eiffel Tower. This is where this was from, the Eiffel Tower. And a little store that's on this level here. <laughs> <laughs> there's also a restaurant there as well um and then you get get lift at the top um obviously la, notre dame <laughs> these are still there so it's fine oh the arts triumph oh it's actually got it on the bottom <laughs> i was only trying to remember the name and then there's sacra 
Sakakua. Um, I can't remember if we saw that or not. That will be. Anywho, enough about my lovely Paris thing. I have pens in here, so I have a big, fat, pit black pen marker. Because at the time, before I knew you could use acrylic paint to black out things, I used this. Um, still use it occasionally. Um, this was my original Pilot white gel pen. It was not good. Still have it though, but it wasn't good. Then I have a um, Derwent ex pencil extender, but for thicker pencils like the Derwent ones, which I haven't gotten around to needing to use yet. I've got this free pen, a macro Sakura brush pen came with something I ordered, can't remember what it was, got it for free, it's like a brush tip. Um, and then I got a couple of drawing pens, some Faber-Castell ones which I had in a set which these two didn't dry out, so one's a brush pen, one's a medium one. And then I've got, I think these are both uni. No, one's a pilot one, one's a uni one, fine and 0.5. And I've got silver pit pen. I've got a fine liner Stabilo because I didn't see the point in buying those because I didn't think I was going to use loads, so I thought I'd just get this one. And I got a couple of Disney pens from when I went to Tokyo, Disney Sea. I got this little stationery set with Rapunzel, Cinderella, and Ariel. And then they have their little a, C and R on there. I think one or two of them may have stopped working, sadly. But I really like them, they're really cute. So it says Disney, no, Tokyo Disney Resort on there. Um, they didn't like the merchandise when I was there, it was mostly like, it was mostly like stationery and stuff. I mean, at least in the store I went in anyway. Um, maybe in Disneyland, which I didn't go in that park, they may have had more stuff. Um, so these are just some Faber-Castell drawing pencils, a 2B and a, and a B, because I figured, you know, if I want to draw something, I should have one. Um, when I went to Tokyo, oh no, there we go. When I went to Tokyo, I went to the Studio Ghibli Museum, and I got a Totoro pencil, you know, like, um, what do they call it, a Technic, a technical pencil, so it has a little lead and you take it out, again, for drawing, whatever, I have that. And then I have a Elsa pen from Disneyland Paris with little crystals in it and it's got Elsa's head on it and you can, you know, write in it and I like it. So there's that one. I also have a Russia pen as well. My mum got me from Russia. Again, I use that just to like, you know, do my tallies and write names of books in. Basically, I don't really use them for colouring, but you know, you might be interested in the pens I use. Um, and then we've got my paint brushes. So this is just in a toothbrush holder that I got from Tiger because it was like two pounds. So I got a various range of brushes. I do have two more of these, but they are in a container, which sadly I may or may not be able to reach right now. Hmm, is it in this one? Maybe they're in this box, which I can reach. Oh, they are. No, oh, I'll keep those out there. So the others are in there. Which again, this box I got from Tiger. <laughs> um, so I got some cheap paintbrushes. These are like cheap ones cheap one which I probably will not reuse um these ones ah put that there um this is like a, the came of the gelatos I liked it because it was tips it's quite good don't think it's an amazing brush by any means but it was still pretty good um these ones are all De La Rowney apart from this one these ones are all De La Rowney um yeah Hold on, and that one. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got a couple in there that aren't. Wait, what happened to my... Oh, and this one, Karen Dash. So, these are Daily Rowney ones. They're acrylic and watercolour ones that I got from the um, Hobbycraft. I got them from Hobbycraft. So, some of them were a set. The, these acrylic ones here with the yellow, they were a set. We did various different brush lengths and things. Um, they're okay, they're not amazing, but they do the job. And then we got my Caran one, which you've seen. This is a Faber-Castell one that came with my Albert Dura set of 36, like, gift set thing, I don't know. And then this is one I got from the art store, a Pro Art Pro Lean Plus. So, proper, I guess, art brush? How good it is? I don't know, I just use it occasionally because of the scar finish now. Um, but it's fine. Whereas like this one, which is a really cheap one, you can see it would have been all nice and, I don't know, slim like this at one point and it's all just got gone funny and a lot of the hairs fall out and I just decided to not bother using the cheap brushes unless I don't care that they get ruined and just to use the better ones, which they're not expensive, the ones I got. 
um, the ones I've got, uh, you know, fairly good price. So, in here I've got some Derwent water brushes, which I, they're alright, but I got bored of. Then I got, I've got black, well it's just got a different, a thicker nib. Maybe I'm going to, I might put that in there. Ugh. Sorry, I just needed to squish that. I'm going to stick that in my paintbrush. I think, so I might actually use that. And then I've got another one which I haven't used and I can't find it. It should be in there. Oh, hey. What a lovely little brush. Stick that in there. Um, so I've got mermaid markers. Oh, no, that was kind of leaky. Uh, great. I've got some mermaid markers. Um, these are Jane Davenport mermaid markers. Um, they're ink in a pen and clearly this one's leaked. Great. Um, I haven't really used it though. And this is the other Karen Dash one, but it's got like a, a sort of thicky nib. It's like a felt tip nib. I haven't used it though, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in there in case I do. Um, yeah, and again, they're just apparently when you've like used them, you could fill them up with water and use them as a normal one. That's what she said. I haven't really used them though, but um, I like them and I have them. And that's basically it for that little little drawer. There, um, maybe you also have a little drawer open on oh my days. Please go on. I have got some, oh, I've got a little stencil or circles, like a helix um, stencil template. And then I have got some 12 artist pastels that my friend got me for my birthday years ago and I have not used, but I thought, hey, I may use them, so I have kept them. Then I have the Faber-Castell um, 48 soft pastels. pastels. This does come in a bigger set and you can get polychromos ones and I think you can get a cheaper version. These are kind of like in the middle. I'm going to say these are kind of like the gold Faber, Faber Castell range. I like them, they're pretty good. Um, to be honest, I don't need expensive pastels, not really. Um, I am thinking about maybe getting the Koinor ones though, just because they have different colours and for, you know, just different range colours. Because I'm trying to think, I am thinking about maybe trying to use pastel, pastels a little bit more. Sometimes I don't use them though because I have to then go out and spray my book and that's the only, it's just laziness that's the only reason why i haven't used some loads laziness is the answer to that question um i have got some more stencils which uh, i can get out now the really big ones i can't show you because they're hiding somewhere being flattened but i can show you these so i've got a cog one. Oh my word i just the sun's behind me and I just reflected the sun in my eyes and that really hurt. Um, this one I just got given free when I ordered something. It wasn't even stencils, they just gave me this and I thought, well, okay. Um, then I have a hieroglyphs one. I've got flowers, more flowers, like a pattern thing. I've got bee texture, wood texture trees trees um sets of flowers in there this i didn't order but i just got given it because the lady unfortunately that um i ordered these ones from these i think and this one i'd ordered these and she oh, actually maybe it wasn't those two i feel like it was maybe it's just these ones i ordered from her no i didn't i didn't order these ones i ordered these from her um and sadly, she had some family issues and stuff or what have you. And she doesn't have a shop open at the moment. Maybe she will. Um, but it took me forever to get these because unfortunately she had back order delays. And then I think she sent them to me, but they just they didn't make it. But eventually I got them. So, um, yeah, and I don't know. Maybe she thought I'd order this one or just gave it to me for free. I don't know. So, um, I may use it at some point. But it's a shame because she had really nice stencils, so hopefully she will um, be back and running. Maybe she is now, I don't know. I shall have to have a go and look. Uh, but she closed the website down so that obviously you couldn't order stuff because I think I ordered stuff whilst she wasn't taking orders, but obviously she hadn't taken the website down so she had to basically on it. But yeah, I unfortunately did wait about a good couple of months before receiving them. But she did say things were going to be late, which was fine. It was just so... I, that was okay. But Anywho... Um, Right, I've got one thing in front of me that I have not shown you, which are my favourite things in the world. And that are my stickles. That is my stickles, not that are my stickles, that does not make sense. 
Um, so I actually have got another basket, but oh no. Um, so I put them in this way so that they won't um, like all the like glitter flows down, so it's a bit easier to use. But they don't stand up very well in this unless you jam pack them in here, they will fall over. So these are what the blues and the purples. So like this is a new colour that I got, Mermaid Tail. I got that the other week and they're beautiful and I love them. And I will show you my swatch with all of them in so that you can see the glittery goodness. But I just I love them. And then I've got like pinks, purp no pinks, reds, yellows, and some greens there. And then these are kind of like the golds and the whites with like the ice stickles as well. And then I have a box, uh, a basket, a basket of spares, which I think this one needs to go in there because I've got a spare twinkle now. A basket of spares. Um, and I also have got the liquid pearls as well. So um, I've got liquid pearls and then stickles. So I do love my stickles. Um, any new colours I am very happy to just, you know, buy. <laughs> and then I'm going to try and put them back. Because I've got some stuff leaning against them that's kind of falling over. There we go. Let's put them back. Um, now I think the only thing I've got left to show you is my pencils yeah just my pencils so let's get on with that then um <laughs> right i'll show you some that i again don't really use very often these oh no they're falling out these are my crayolas the hundred set of crayola now i can't i'm not going to unwrap that one because they're just all fall out um so i got the hundred set of crayola um basically this is it just your average crayola pencil um, I put them in this little holder. I haven't really used them, sadly. Um, I am thinking though, with my Rita Berman books, I actually quite like using some of the cheaper um, pencils, so I'm thinking I might use these um, in those. So watch the space. I couldn't fit them all in that holder, that's why there's some in there as well. So I'm going to just back down there um i have got one set of the erogitons i may get the others i've got them on my wish list um ow but i'm not like fussed them in it unfortunately they are very dusty um so basically they open like the japanese books would open so backwards and they this is the volume number two so it's got the pale tone deep tone and light grayish tone so these are the deep tone deep tone deep tone ones and um, they all kind of like fit together really well, which is nice. So you can mix and match them with the other sets. And I really, really like these. Um, I haven't really used them very often though. Again, I need to try and use some more of my sets a bit more. But um, yeah, they come these like cute little like book bookend things. So I've kind of like kept them in there. Um, maybe if I got them all, there's a possibility I'd put them in a case. So in this case, I have got... Hold on, it's opening it. One bit doesn't have any pencils in. So I've got a couple of different pencils in here. So first of all, I've got some Pablos. So these are Karen Dash, they're Pablo. These are just singles that I bought to go alongside my um, Luminance. So I have a few more range colors, because Luminance only has 76 colors. And I wanted more colors. Um, it's because these, they can't make all the colors light fast, which is why they don't have a high range of colors. But I thought the Pablos actually, as of the same family, these are slightly made differently and they do work differently to the luminance. Um, they're not the same pencil. Um, but I thought, you know, they'd work quite nice. So I've got these and then I have got a couple of the Derwent Nightfasts. Um, I've got some browns and some really dark greens. So um, I really like these. These are nice. I'm really wanting them to... Re they said they were going to release a bigger set. They have not yet. <laughs> They've only released a six 36. So when they release the bigger set, I hopefully may buy these i won't be straight away but i may um you know i'll probably wait till they go down a little bit and then hopefully i will get them one day and then i've got a couple of spare prisoners in here and these are some single luminance that i bought i have a white one as well um can you see though hmm. i just realized that the shadow <laughs> there's a huge shadow there i've just put my daylight lamp on which might help it's because the sun is shining in my room 
Um, so I bought these to try the luminance first to see what they were like and also these colours were different to the colours that I had so I kind of had them, like this is a really dark green so I kind of had it to go with them, like my Prismas um, and I really really like, really liked them so then when I, as a present to myself for graduating my course, my teaching course, um, I bought the whole set for myself. So I did that. Actually I can probably put these away at the same time. I just took them out because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to reach them. So next I have my Polychromos. So I'm not going to bother and zipping them all. So this is a 120 set. Um, I started out with 60 and then I just bought like the others. So I bought all the rest individually. Um, so here you go, they're like an all base pencil, they're really nice, loads of reviews, these are two spare ones because I accidentally bought the same colour twice without realising because I'm a moron. There's a few others as well because they had different, a couple of them had different names once upon a time and they now have new names but they didn't list them as that this is the same pencil so I thought I was getting a new colour but it wasn't a new colour, it was the same but with a different name. So I was like, oh well, actually it was just the same, they actually sent me the one with a new name, they didn't even send me the one with the old name on it so I was like well you could have told me that <laughs> but oh well I have spares so it doesn't matter um next I have got my 